So in this video, I will try to explain how to find the gradient function of a curve and how to sketch that. So suppose we have an equation f of x equals x squared plus 6x plus 5. And what gradient actually represents? Gradient, gradient means, means the slope of the curve, right? So dy by dx. So if we differentiate this equation, the result is 2x plus 6. So this is the equation which represent the which represents the gradient of the curve. So that's your gradient function. That is an equation of the gradient. And if we need to sketch this, since it's a linear equation, as you can see, the uh, power of x is 1. So at x axis, y equals to 0. So 2x plus 6 equals 0. So the coordinate will be what? Minus 3. So minus 3, 0. And at y axis, x equals to 0. So x 0, so 6. So 0, comma 6. So if it's your y axis, x axis origin, in that case, minus 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, 0. 0 plus 6. So this will be your sketch of the gradient function. But the main problem arises when you do not have the equation of the curve. So that's why you cannot even get the equation of the gradient function. So in uh, we will see how to sketch that one. So suppose we do not have the equation of the curve, but instead of that, you have the graph of this function. So by factorizing this, we will get x plus, uh, x plus 1, x plus 5. So minus 1, minus 5. So this is your quadratic graph at y axis x0, so 5. In short, suppose this is another example in which we do not have any of the equations. We just have a sketch. We just have a graph of a quadratic equation. We just know this is f of x. And the question asks you to sketch the gradient function. So gradient function means we need to find the, uh, we need to draw the uh, sketch of the uh, uh, f of x, f prime x, sorry, f prime x. So if this is your graph, and we need to draw the graph of the gradient, at first, what we need to do is select the co coordinates. Suppose at maximum and minimum, the gradient is always zero, right? So since this graph represents the gradient here, so at maximum and minimum point, the gradient is zero. So it means value is zero. So at the right side of this point, at the right side of this point, the slope of the curve is positive, right? It's a positive gradient. The curve is going upward. So it means value of gradient is positive. So it will be above the x-axis. So suppose I'm taking a point this. And at the right, left side of this point, as in this portion of the curve, the gradient is negative. The gra graph is going downward. So the gradient is negative. It means value of gradient is negative that is the point will be below x-axis so that's your point so if we join these three points we get the sketch of the gradient function as you can see the two graph looks similar but in this case we cannot find the coordinates right we can find the coordinates if we know the equation of f of x but without the equation all you can do is just sketch this curve by considering the sign of the gradient and the value at this point at maximum and minimum the graph will be at x-axis since gradient is zero at this point and if the graph goes upward it has a positive gradient it means the point will be above x-axis above x-axis and if the graph is going downward negative gradient the point will be below x-axis and since we know that, uh, that f of x is a quadratic equation and if you differentiate any quadratic equation the final value will reduce to power of the x will reduce to 1 as in if we differentiate something power of x decreases right so since it's a quadratic equation the final gradient equation will be a linear one that's why the final graph of gradient function is a straight line but in this case uh, we have an equation we have an equation for a cubic graph right you do not know the equation. The exact equation is unknown, but we have this sketch of a graph. This, that, this is a cubic graph, and we need to sketch the gradient function. 
that is the graph for the gradient one so just like the previous exam example at maximum point gradient is zero so it means this is at x-axis similarly at minimum point gradient is zero so since value of gradient is zero this two point will be at x-axis that is zero gradient okay so at the left side at the left side of this one as an a to c portion the curve is moving upward this is a positive gradient it means for this portion the grade positive gradient for positive gradient the point will be above the x-axis so somewhere here and between between c and e for this portion the graph is moving downward it ha this has a negative gradient so between two points between these two points the gradient will be below x-axis and for e to g the graph is moving upward it has a positive gradient so the value of gradient is positive it will be above the x-axis so so far we have around what five coordinates between different sections of the graph so we can just join them and draw a straight line but we cannot do that why because it's a cubic graph and we know if we differentiate this we will get something like this right so by differentiating a cubic graph we will get something we will get an equation of a quadratic graph right so since it's a quadratic graph it will be a happy face or sad face that is u-shaped graph so that's why we need to join this with a smooth curve so that's the equation of the gradient function for this cubic equation so basically even if we do not know the equation but have the sketch of a graph just select the coordinate and then join them depending on the shape of the curve so we need to remember that the maximum or minimum coordinate gradient for this will always be zero so the graph will cut at x-axis and if the actual graph moves upward that is it has a positive gradient it means the point at the sketch will be above x-axis similarly if you have a negative gradient the point will be below x-axis so by selecting the different points we can just join them up to find the a sketch of the final gradient function but we actually need to have an idea about the power of x otherwise we cannot just assume the shape of the gradient function